Hello and welcome to Cars at 100 and on today's review, as you can see behind me, this beautiful BMW X6, brand new BMW X6, we're gonna look at it from the outside, from the inside, and we're gonna go a couple of features on the window sticker, so stay tuned. And let's not waste any more time and let's jump into it. So to enter this vehicle, you have this very nice BMW key fob, you have unlock lock, automatic trunk release, and the panic button here. Very nice design on it, very good weight to it. You can just keep it in your pocket. There are grooved edges here that you can lock the vehicle with. And you can unlock the vehicle by the door handle here. And as you can see here, very nice interior, very good materials. This is wood material, uh, aluminum, Dakota leather, very nice, very nice automatic up and down all four corners of the car. Very good stitching all around. This is very nice leather on this vehicle. Very good looking. In terms of the design as well, you have a very nice door seals here as well. As you can see here, very nice paddles for your convenience. Very nice seating surfaces here as well. You have a very nice uh, design here on the seat as well very good in terms of the quality as well very nice stitching very good feel on the leather as well very premium just like BMW is supposed to be and let's jump inside as you can see this car is absolutely beautiful inside very nice design overall very good wood material here you have very nice stitching on top of the dashboard here as well very nice overall in terms of the integration of the screen as well here you have very nice vents here as well you have very good climate control options here in terms of the navigation and convenience this car nails it you have very nice options here in terms of the manipulation of the car you have a sport option here sport plus comfort and eco pro so you can have the car in most efficient mode you have a very nice uh, transmission lever here as well you have a prnd as mentioned here but you also have a sport mode and you have the manual mode and the sport mode so manual mode you can shift yourself and sport mode you can just leave it to the left and the car will have the option to have a more sportier orientation in terms of the driving you have a very nice here options for the infotainment this infotainment system that bmw comes with is one of the best infotainment systems on the market and there is a reason for that it's very intuitive very comfortable to use and very fast you have very nice options here in terms of the navigation as well everything is updated this is the latest infotainment system by bmw in terms of the dashboard here and the integration let's start the car so we can see it better foot on the brake and as you can see here, you have the optional digital dash in front of you. So this is very nice. This is very convenient. This is fully digital dash. You have everything in terms of the information and how the car looks and behaves in terms of the, you know, uh, sport mode or everything else. So if you go to the sport mode here, like I did, you're gonna have the red accents on the digital speedometer and tech. You're gonna have very nice uh, 
options in terms of the usability of the car in a sport mode so it's gonna change if I go into the comfort mode here so I'm gonna have a different layout here this is how the car starts from the beginning when you start the car put the ignition on so this is the default mode and when you go into Eco Pro the car will be most efficient so it's gonna go into the blue implying like it's most efficient uh, by BMW this is how they try to imply that this car is gonna save gas for you and also you're gonna have a very nice um, display in the middle with all the information that the car will provide you every time so middle display is like every other display on every other vehicle but a little bit more in terms of the steering wheel here, you have a 10 and 2 notches, very nice, a very sporty steering wheel. You have a nice pedal shifters in the back. Overall, the thickness is not that big, but it's medium and it's enough. You have very nice here options for the cruise control on the left and very nice options here on the right in terms of the media and the controls in terms of the mode of uh, radio or every other option that you have in terms of USB and your phone connectivity. You also have a very nice display here. This is the most and latest infotainment option by BMW. So this car has the touchscreen now. Before BMWs didn't have touchscreen, but now finally it's integrated here. And believe me, you, this is one of the best uh, infotainment options on the market right now. And you have very nice options here in terms of the storage as well. You have an ashtray here. And you have a very good cup holders. You can just close this section here like this to have it more minimalistic looking. You have uh, also cigarette lighter here. Very nice. You can just pop it in or just take it out like that. So overall, it's a very nice uh, convenient features that this car provides you with. Very nice options in terms of the design of the amenities here. Very nice options for the middle storage here as well. It's pretty deep, I would say. Let me show you a little bit better. Overall, you have a USB options here, aux in. You have options here for the storage and you have a rubbery material here for the things not to slide around and make noise. So overall, it's really nice. So you have a very nice glove box, of course, here with all your manuals and everything. So let's see the back seats. So in terms of the back seats, you can also lock the vehicle by the groove edges, grooved edge here as well, just like up front on the front doors and you can unlock it through the sensors but overall in terms of the options and how this car is as you can see I put the seat all the way back and there is no leg room almost no leg room not even kids can sit in the back seats here so let me put the seat in the proper position so I can get inside and show you a little bit uh, back section of this car so as you can see I move the seat more towards front and I can step inside here but overall it's a very cozy feeling in this car I gotta tell you so there's something about these BMWs they are engineered well even though they're small you know I, I don't have a lot of uh, space here but overall it feels cozy it feels nice it doesn't feel like it's cramped you have two vents here in the back and you have climate control options here as well so automatic climate control in the back as well that's really convenient you also have pockets here for storage, but you know, everything that you really need, very nice leather here as well. You have a child attachment supports here. Basically, the car is good for the families as well. This is not just a sporty utility vehicle. This is something that you can use every day and whole family can benefit from it. So, as you can see here, I'm six feet tall. Headroom is not really that Big. as you can see the roof slopes in the back here as well so you got to sit a little bit lower so if you are taller than six feet tall in the back here it's not that comfortable but it's not that bad I've seen some other vehicles in this class and they have a little bit less uh, headroom overall very good so in terms of the trunk here you can just open it by clicking the button and it's automatic so overall you have a very nice hatchback type of uh, feel to the trunk here as well you can put this like that to cover the section whatever you have in the trunk and overall it's a big trunk you can also drop down these seats in the back and you have even more space but overall you have here space even more under the floor so very nice you don't have a spare tire in this car this is run flat type of setup in this car but overall 
you have here tow hitch and everything you have the storage here as well you have very nice pockets here overall very nice family vehicle and uh, I think it's gonna be very comfortable and convenient to carry things around like groceries and everything else and I think it's pretty roomy as well I'm gonna put all the information in terms of the trunk space on the screen so you can check it out but overall really nice very nice design as well 